What's up guys, it's uh, Oscar the Truck Guy here. So uh, today I'm gonna do a quick uh, walk around of my uh, 1981 C10, the same one I got on my hat pin right here. So uh, yeah, let's get right to it. So I bought this truck about five years ago. It used to be yellow, had an inline six in it. It wasn't too beat up, but it wasn't to my likings. I'm a, uh, I'm a 22 year old, so things that's that like look good to like older people don't really look good to me so i decided to make it my own so i started off by uh doing this paint job it cost me like two thousand dollars i think it's a two-tone paint job looks a little bit dirty because um haven't washed the truck in a little bit but it's two-tone and then added these pinstripes around here After I got it painted, I didn't like the wheels, so I got them replaced by some marquee wheels. Marquee luxury wheels. These look a little bit dirty, but these are my wheels. And they fit the truck perfect. They match the color scheme and everything. I ended up adding all the uh, Silverado trim, such as this right here, as well as this. That didn't come stock with my custom deluxe, but this is Silverado trim, so it fits it well. I also added the rear cab molding. Usually these are yellow. I painted them black just to make it my own, you know. I had the uh, bed bed lined where I got it painted at, and uh, the bed liner has been holding pretty well. It's a little bit dirty, like I said, so I apologize. When I first got this truck, it had a uh, step bumper, so I replaced it with this uh, fleet side bumper, which uh, makes it look a little bit better. Like I said, I uh, upgraded the uh, engine. This is a 350 small block. I was running an inline 250 before this, the original motor, and I will show you guys a picture here in a sec. As well as adding this 350, I also added um, electric pans, double electric pans with a, I believe it's a three core right here. That's what it's called. But uh, it keeps it cool. I read my degrees in Celsius and it keeps it under 100 degrees Celsius, which is pretty good. Here's the headlights on. Obviously when I run the uh, high beams, these ones are gonna turn on as well. And these are also LED lights. They obviously look better during the day. And then these side marker lights are also LEDs. Pretty much everything LED all around. I forgot to mention that when um, I did the engine swap, I also painted the engine bay, sanded all this down here at home, painted it black also removed the um, AC slash heat just put that plate right there makes the engine bay look a lot cleaner cleaned up all my cables bought this kit at AutoZone this is the uh, inside of my truck as you can see I have my uh, last name here on the uh, dash pad bought the dash pad brand new the door panels brand new had the seats reupholstered with a diamond encrusted it's a uh, supposed to be red stitching you can't really see it and then I had this painted as well like I said it's a little bit crusty because I haven't washed it it's been raining over here I got this uh Chevrolet rear view mirror looks pretty fresh had these sun visors reupholstered bought the uh chrome ones off of a uh, LMC truck the little holders This is what my truck looks like when it's on. I have the uh, Interlonix gauges, I believe it's called. They read all my gas, they read my gas, temperature, oil, volts, miles per hour, and RPMs. These haven't given me any problems lately, which I really like about them. Everyone always complains about them saying that these give them a lot of problems, but I can't relate. These, are, these have worked perfectly for me. 
I also installed an aftermarket stereo. Got it in red, as long as well as the uh, speakers right here on the sides. So I also got bored of the uh, stock steering wheel. So I'm running this steering wheel. It's got little flames right here, horn button, and it's carbon fiber all around, which is really neat. Uh, these are tasteful mods in my opinion. Some things that I did when I was younger that I don't really like now are things like this. I'm not sure why I did this. Kind of makes you upset. I ended up cutting this. I wish I wouldn't have. It's supposed to go up here and it's supposed to be black. It fits it decently, but when I take it to car shows, I'm a little bit embarrassed to show that because it was when I was going through my uh, ricer phase, I guess you'd call it. I added all these mods thinking they looked cool. And as I grew older, I ended up hating them. Another mod I added was like the under glow, glow, under glow red lights that make it light up pretty nice here in the uh, nighttime. That's one thing that I don't think has gone out of style. I think it looks pretty fresh overall. I also forgot to mention that I added the LED tail lights. So these are sequential. They look really nice when I'm going down the street. Uh, another thing that I don't really like anymore, I outgrew it, is this uh, under tailgate light. I mean, it looked cool when I was younger, but now I kind of outgrew it. So I don't know what how I feel about it. I just haven't had the time to remove it.